Ian here and welcome back to Building Librelib. Now that all the subunits are basically in a nearly finished state, I can actually assemble all of these for the first time and see if they all fit together and work together as I planned. Before I can do that, I need to take care of some smaller things. For example, this pulley hasn't yet been drilled from the side and is loose on the shaft. Yeah, so let's get cracking. Okay, there are now two ways to go about this. First option is to just try to make a small divot in here. The other option is to first take a file, make a flat spot and then use this tool. But I'm lazy, so let's try this way and see if it works. I think I can drill it that. Let's try to clamp this in here. That went better than expected. I haven't moved the part, it is still clamped in the vise in the same position because now I will try to be vertical with the tap. Uh, it's an M3 tap I'm using. Some cutting oil is required and now really careful. I think I should take it out and take a look. Let's take a look. Great. Okay, let's assemble this. Perfect, the servo motor is turning now. These lock nuts have a small square part here that needs to be pulled into the wood before these grip and can be tightened from the other side. I want a washer on here to spread the load. And it's slowly pulling in here, securing the bolt head nicely in the wood. This back plate moves up and down here, and it's driven by the belt. To get the spacing right, there needs to be a spacer. These divots here, only purpose is to provide some room for the heads of these bolts. This is a part that has been printed with SLA, and it has uh, tiny grooves on here with the exact same spacing as the teeth on the belt. This piece goes in behind here and grabs the teeth of the belt. These holes are for these two bolts, so I can put a washer and a nut on here to fix this thing. So first step is to screw down this spacer part, and then I have to carefully Put this all together which will be a bit difficult because i have to reach in from the side like here to try to tighten these it's a lot easier to mount these bolts now rather than later when this part is mounted already so let's do the same operation we just did on the small spacer part on this big connector plate here let's see if this part actually fits the suction box Yes, great. I will use the 4x20 screws to attach this part. Let's assemble the linear rails. They go in from the top like this. Now I will slip on these lock, lock collars here. Now I will lift up these. Yes. Great. And now the lower ends. Yes. Great. Now I'll put in my small wooden block so I have some more space to work. And slip on the other two collars in the bottom here. And now the 
just move smoothly over the whole distance. Cool. So let's see if this actually moves. Wow, it does move. Let's put in the linear slide for the book holder. Cool, let's put in the book holder parts. Some upholstery for protection. Hold the box. Nope. Great, let's tighten these screws. In the design specs, after calculating how much this is supposed to weigh, I came out with something like 4.5, 4.7 with some electronics kilograms. And let's see how much we it actually weighs. So there is a small scale. Please lift it up. Okay. I would say it, it weighs four, four kilograms. So this box turned out actually lighter than it was intended to be, and that's probably because of the wood. Because I picked the tropical wood, but it's rather lightweight, and uh, my CAD program didn't have the properties of that type of wood. So I picked something heavier. But that's nice, because uh, now I can calculate how much force the server motor needs to have, and uh, find out whether there's actually a chance that this might work with springs. In the next episode, I will design and print the camera holders that sit on the inside here and over there, and also the nozzle that gives a small blast of air from here from the back to flip the pages over. And if you just made your way into this series, thanks for checking this out. This was just one part of a longer series where I show all the steps to make the page turning bush scanner legal flip. If you are interested to learn more about this project, please consider to subscribe to this channel or to follow the project on Twitter. The link is in the description down below. Thanks.